We've been talking a lot about oil and gas. Let's switch it up a bit. Let's talk about LNG, liquefied natural gas, and also talk about LNG, which is the stock ticker of our next company. That is Chenier Energy and the CEO, Jack Fusco, joining us now here live. Jack, we do appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Brian. We've been asking the CEOs, most of them are sort of oil-ish CEOs, <clears throat> were they surprised at the lack of response in the crude market given the news in Iran and Iraq on Friday with the killing of Soleimani? Yeah. We did not also see a movement in gas prices. Are you surprised by that? Uh, I'm very much surprised on the worldwide uh, LNG market since 25 percent, uh, give or take, of all of LNG in the world comes from the Qataris. And that would get stranded potentially if there was a problem with the, with the Strait of Hormuz. Yeah, and, so. and that, that's the most amazing and maybe important thing is that that little stretch of water where we've had ships get mined. Yep. In fact, the British just sent some warships there a couple of days ago to help escort these things. 25 percent of the world's LNG yeah. that powers lights is coming through there. Why do you think the market didn't react? You know, I, there, there seems to be a little bit of a supply and demand dislocation right now. Uh, a lot of supply hit the market this year. Uh, it's being absorbed. Uh, but, you know, I think eventually when it gets a little bit tighter, when something like uh, geopolitical happens like that, trade tensions, war, um, we're, we're going to see a much bigger response. And price you think, response. Do, do you anticipate those things happening? <laughs> I hope not. not but, I hope but, not. But yeah. you have to plan. Well, we plan. We, uh, uh, as you know, Brian, our customers lower, right? sign long-term contracts with us, so we we have to provide uh, LNG uh, for the next 20 to 25 years, basically, all around the world. So we're seeing supply, as you just noted, grow. We're expected to see more supply growth. There's all these huge. We've talked about it. There's about 20 plants that are either in project phase or actively under construction. Yeah. What does that mean for Chenier? I mean, can the world absorb all this extra natural gas? The price of LNG, dollars per thousands of metric ton, has already come down and kind of stayed low to flat the last couple of years, Jack. Yeah. So there's a structural shift, right, from cleaner uh, to cleaner burning fuels. And liquefied natural gas, natural gas is a fuel of choice, and it's going to stay that way for a long time. And as you mentioned, the growth has been phenomenal. So we've seen per annum over 5% per annum growth in, in LNG demand. Uh, that's forecast to continue to be that way till 2035. And we're seeing a lot of infrastructure being built to support that. So new gas-fired power plants, um, new liquefaction uh, regas terminals to receive the LNG, a lot more shipping capacity and uh, you know I I think we're going to see nat gas and LNG around for a long time and I know the traders will have a comment on this but I'll, I'll wrap it up Wall Street loves your stock there's I think 23 analysts that cover your name 21 have a buy two have a hold there are zero sells your guidance was pretty good in November everyone's anticipating EBITDA growth you've got a tall task to please the street do you think you can pull that off well, we've guided the street in 2020 to another billion dollars of EBITDA growth, which is about 33 percent over where we were, what, what we guided in 2019. So we have significant growth as our contracts become, uh, um, get sanctioned. And, uh, you know, we try to, you know, under promise and over deliver. And uh, hopefully that's why uh, they like us yeah, so much. Jack Fusco, Chenier, LNG is the ticker. Jack, a real pleasure. Thanks for taking some time for us here. Good to see you again. Thank you. Karen Brian. Feinerman, 33% expected EBITDA growth year over year. It's sounding like a technology company, not a company that, that exports compressed natural gas. Well, they've done a phenomenal job. And I mean, the capacity growth has been incredible. And I think we'll continue to see LNG demand grow around the world. At least that's the way I've been betting. Um, so I like the space longer term. I, you know, in the past year, it hasn't been great. It's improved a little bit the last couple of months. But uh, for me, I'm in Golar, which is another uh, LNG play. But they've done an extraordinary job at Chenier.